Hi, this is Justin from OSI Affiliate Software, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Hootsuite. Hootsuite provides social media management for companies and organizations that are looking to manage multiple accounts in one location. You should use Hootsuite because it allows you to seamlessly include all of the networks that you're on, or at least most of them, as well as be strategic about their use. You can do things such as reply to other users. You can follow other users. You can also schedule tweets or updates. Hootsuite can be very useful for e-commerce websites, so I'm gonna show you how to use it. First, let's go ahead and sign up for an account. So just hit the sign up button, and for right now, let's go ahead and do the free trial of the pro account. Now, after this, it will be $9.99 a month, but you do get some extra features from the free plan. So let's go ahead and click Get Started Now. Okay, so I'm just going to put in my email address, and then I'm going to put in my full name and select a password. So for now, I, I'm going to do the monthly billing cycle. It's actually going to be $15 a month. If you do choose annually, you do save, and it turns out to be $10 a month that way. But right now, let's just do monthly, and I'm going to put in my billing information. Okay, so after I hit sign up, uh, it's just processing the payment real quick. Okay, so everything looks like it has gone through correctly, so let's just go ahead and continue to the Hootsuite dashboard. And now you'll be able to add all of your social networks. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to hook up one of my sample Twitter accounts. Once I hit authorize app, I should be good to go, and as you can see, my Twitter account has been added. Now, I can add other social networks from right here, but just for this demo, I'm not going to do that quite yet. So let's hit the continue button and go to our dashboard. Okay, so here at our dashboard, there is a whole lot of things we can do, but what I'm going to do first is set up my tabs. So first, I have this tab right here called My First Tab, and I'm going to rename this to uh, Twitter Accounts. This is where I'm going to keep all of my Twitter accounts, and of course, you can organize your tabs however you would like, and you can create multiple tabs. Right here, you've got your streams. You can have multiple streams, and right now, I think we have... Um, you can have four streams going at once, at least with my window width. So this first string, let's have it be our home timeline. So as you can see now, everyone that we're following is going to show up here. And uh, for this second stream, I'm going to set this up as mentions. You can use this to find people who are talking about you, uh, at least if they directly mention you. So let's add that. So next I'm going to add my scheduled tweets. This will be a good place to see everything that is currently scheduled for this account. And lastly, I'm going to add a search. We can set this stream to be just results for a certain search. So we can put in a hashtag, for instance, hashtag startups, because this is what the Twitter account that I'm using is about. So we can hit search. And as you can see, it added startups. And um, I can just go ahead and scroll over. And now, as you can see, we can see all four streams, and we are good to go as far as this first tab. Now, of course, if I need to, I can go back over here. Let me just scroll real quick. And what I can do is just add some extra streams if I would like. Now, I don't really like having more than four streams in one view. It just You have to scroll a lot, and that might depend on how big your monitor is. But I like to keep it at four just so I can see everything without having to scroll. Uh, so if you do need a fifth one or any more than that, what I would recommend is go ahead and create another tab. Now what you can do is hit this Add Stream button, and we can set this to, for instance, Retweets. Or we could uh, set it to look at all of our followers. Now this Retweets tab is going to show us all the tweets that we have tweeted that have then been retweeted. So as you can see, I can see which tweets did well and how many people retweeted them. Now over here on new followers I can see who was following me as well as their latest tweet uh, as well as what time that tweet was. Uh, so this is good to find how active the people that are following me are which is nice. I could also add a favorites tab. Now I don't have any favorited tweets so I'm not going to do that but this would basically just show all the tweets that I have favorited. We can also look at all of my sent tweets. This will show every single tweet that this account has sent out as well as what time. So it's just a good way to look at you know, the 
the activity on your account and really just what's going on. And you can also look at your DM inbox to see who's sending you direct messages and what they're saying. Okay, so that's enough for just looking at information. Let's go ahead and add our own tweet. So in order to compose a message, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover my mouse over in this area, and what I can do is select the Twitter or the accounts I would like this update to go towards. Now I'm just gonna select my only account, um, but if you have more social networks in here, you can of course do that. So for my first tweet, I'm going to tweet about this article I just found about an app called Temista. Temista. Uh, it was on TechCrunch, and I thought it would be interesting to the audience. So what I'm going to do is write a quick headline. Now just for this example, I'm just going to use the uh, title. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link. And now what I can do is I can add this link and shrink it using Hootsuite. Using their URL shortener can actually help you as far as analytics and looking at who and how many people are clicking on your links. Now what I could do is just go ahead and send the tweet out right now. However, there are several other options I wanted to show you. I can attach an image or a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this first image right here, go ahead and save it. Now it's in my downloads and let's go ahead and attach that image. As you can see, it adds it as another link to in the tweet, which will show up on Twitter, of course. Um, here on scheduling, what you can do is set a specific time for this to go out. But what you can also do is something called auto-scheduling. If you do that, it will basically send out the tweet when it thinks is best. Now, if you click on this little settings gear, you can change the auto-schedule settings, but we're going to leave that how it is just for now. And I'm going to go ahead and auto-schedule this tweet. I could add my location to this tweet, but I'm not going to. It's not really relevant. We can also go over here to targeting options, and uh, there's not a whole lot we can do with uh, Twitter targeting. I'm just going to leave that how it is, but it is a little bit more important on Facebook. And we can change the privacy options, but I'm going to keep this how it is. Everything looks good to me, so let's go ahead and auto-schedule it. Okay, so here over in scheduled tweets, it's telling me that this will be sent at 9 a.m. on August 11th. Hootsuite also does some great stuff with analytics. So I'm going to go over here to the analytics tab. And let's just get a Twitter profile overview. So I'm going to select my Twitter profile and click create report. Okay, so here it's going to tell me basically uh, everything I need to know about this Twitter account. So we can look at the follower growth. As you can see, not a whole lot going on here. As you can see, it will also tell me the most popular links, but unfortunately it can't tell me that because all of the previous links have not been using Hootsuite's URL shortener, but once I do start getting some more Hootsuite tweets, that will help. As you can see over here, there are several other options as far as analytic reports, but I don't really need to look at that right now. If I go over here to Publisher, you can actually look at suggested tweets. Now this is interesting because it will basically tell you what kind of tweets they think you should be sending out, as well as providing uh, the text for the tweets themselves. So I'm going to select my Twitter account hit next and now they're going to suggest some topics these three look good so I'm gonna hit next again and hit next one more time and let's review our suggestions okay so as you can see it's going to go ahead and show me some tweets that they think might do well so what I could do is just select everything and hit the scheduled button of course you'll want to take a look through all of these and see uh, which ones you do and don't like and just double check all of them but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to schedule all of these so I'll select the ones I want and hit the schedule button and here on scheduled messages it's going to show me everything that's scheduled how many I've got every day uh, and I've got a few until August 15th so everything looks like it's going pretty good what I can also do is go over here to content sources and go to RSS feeds and I can add in an RSS feed this is great if you have a blog, for instance, uh, because it will allow you to auto-schedule all of the new posts coming from that feed. So if I go back to the stream view, let's go and look at some of the things you can do with tweets showing up in your stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. As you can see, I got this mention talking about Follow Friday, and I really liked it. I appreciated that they mentioned me. So what I can do is go over here to Retweet. And I'm just going to go ahead and retweet it to my followers. Simple as that. Now I can also go to this mention right here. And as you can see, they sent us a nice little note. So I'm just going to reply. 
and say thanks. And I'm not going to auto schedule this one, I'm just going to send it out right now. There are so many things you can do with Hootsuite, and obviously I haven't been able to show you all of them, but what I've shown you should be able to get you off the ground and running with Hootsuite. This really is an excellent tool and one that you should definitely consider for your e-commerce marketing. This has been Justin from OSI Affiliate Software. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos about e-commerce marketing.